Okay, so after that overlong video, uh, we're back around here. Why does this? Okay. And we're sitting on a bunch of cards. Um, first question is, do we want to raid? We probably want to, if we can get an advantage out of it. Unfortunately, purple strength is only five. One, two, three, four, five. And if we turn, uh, this may not mean that we don't want to, but if we turn to the next opponent, orange, their strength's only three. With one, two, three for the bread and circuses. I think I do want to. There's no real harm to doing a raid except the expenditure of one of these red chips. And I feel like those are of less value than white chips. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to declare my target against him. Now this is why you end up hitting the weak guy again and again anyway, is because these aggressions don't really hurt you. And I'm going to open up with my initial bid, which is my five strength. Uh, no reason to go higher. Well, this guy has to make a choice. He's currently got a strength of three. If I spend two, I, I equal uh, the attack, and I prevent it from happening. Um, otherwise, I'll lose an urban building, which could be one of these, uh, one of these two. And it's the choice of the attacker, I believe. And um, I'd end up giving away two stone. How much is this guy worth? Because my bid, I'd have to kill two of my soldiers to equate him. And two of my soldiers is approximately the same cost. On the other hand, of course, this is producing happiness for me, which over here I would have to worry about. So I'd have to, I'd have to replace him. The, uh, this is a hard call. I think I'm going... <sighs> Odds I'm going to defend myself with the bit of two. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the bid. I'm going to raise it up to a five. That's going to kill two guys instead of one. Is that terrible? Well, not necessarily, because losing uh, food creation is not necessarily all that bad. But it does drop my strength by two points. And I have now become a, uh, an easier target. <clears throat> If I had let it hit, it wouldn't reduce my strength. This guy can only hold two red cards because he only has two chips, so he'll throw one away. He, even if he had an event or something, he couldn't play it. Okay. Uh, his next play is his political actions. This is for playing a new technology. Well, where am I weak? There's no iron available. There's agriculture available. That's interesting. The alchemy is interesting as well. How's my technology? I have a lot of tech. I have 12 tech, which is actually enough that I could institute a monarchy or a theocracy. Which is advantageous? Well, honestly, the theocracy is better for me than the monarchy. So I'm going to play for that. The monarchy gives me an extra white chip, but the theocracy gives me some happiness. So I'm going to play two of these to buy myself the theocracy. Now, I'm going to actually play the theocracy, which costs me one more of these and seven, the higher cost. To get it at two, I would have to have all my white chips left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I now have a theocracy. I'm one red chip higher, so I gotta go get me a little red circle, and I have that available right away. I gain two happiness, boom, boom. Hey, that's pretty cool. And my 
harp production goes up by one. Okay. <clears throat> I can also hold three people in each of my gray urban buildings. But that took a lot of my, you know, capabilities away. And now I have the problem of too many, uh, too many resources. So then this was not a technology, so I can't use that. So I want to boil some of my resources away. And although it would be nice to push, um, you know, some of my unemployed workers into something useful, that only uses a couple of my resources, whereas bringing more people out uses up more of my food resources and gets me towards eating more food. And that costs one of these. Reds. I don't really want a phalanx. Uh, I could build more military. I think it's probably worthwhile for the simple fact that I get to move one of my people over here to somewhere he's more useful and I get to spend some of these. Again, your resources need to be spent. Uh, so that adds one, two more to my strength. Making me a little bit less of a target myself. And um, I'll go to my production. I've got enough happiness now. My farms produce. My metal produces. Because I spent so much stuff, I don't have any uh, corruption. And I'm going to get one of these cards. Heavy calf, nice value, but it creates a, a dynamic that's a little different from what you generally would want with most of your nations. Generally, most of the army types aren't going to be a pure cav army. This goes away. Everything becomes cheaper. This mechanism reminds me, and I know there's other games that have it, but it reminds me of the kind of the Vinci uh, type thing with selecting um, a, a particular culture. I, just, I, I like this kind of design. Uh, Small World, of course, uses it too, being a clone of Vinci. <coughs> Go over here. And I'm sorry, uh, with a lot of Euros, I do this where I'm just playing out every turn. It's because there's no vision to really say. I mean, what could I say? Oh, look, we got some warriors and we've got some people in buildings, you know. The, the representation doesn't have um, a good graphic the way that a map would in, in some games. So there's not a lot that I can really, you know, point to and say, well, he's obviously doing well. Look, he's got a lot of stocks or, you know, he's got a big military and, okay. So over here, do I want to upgrade to Legion? Well, no, I built up my medieval army. What about this? Adding uh, another colonizable territory. The disadvantage, of course, to that is that my strength isn't on the high end, so I probably won't get it. But I might end up getting something, so I'll take the point, I'll trigger an event, and we have new deposits. Each player's mines produce rock immediately. I believe what that means is they produce their full rock allotment. So here I'm going to get four new rocks. And this guy gets three new rocks. And this is really kind of a boon without the corruption. Three new rocks. It could get you in trouble though if you had plans uh, that you have already set into motion you might have to change them. Alright so that was his play this has to stay in his hand. I've got this alchemy I could play. Okay. There is a government available to me as well <laughs> However, I don't have the kind of technology. Oh, you know, I forgot it again. Uh, purple gets four tech and three victory points. And this is probably what's going to screw the game up is that 
you know, people are not going to get that piece of their production because it's not on this little board. It is over here on the player aid. I can barely read this. Um, and it's just one of the few design elements that I feel is really missing in this. There's not an easy, hey, you should be getting these things uh, off the board. The other headers are pretty easy. They teach you, they show you what you need. Uh, okay. So, I have happiness, but I'm in danger. I'm getting close to being unhappy again. I have a lot of metal. Um, do I need this happiness? I don't think I do. Is there anything out here that I'm just dying for? Alchemy would be nice, but I already have it here. Do I have enough technology to buy it? I don't. Three is my technology right now. <sighs> wow. Uh... So I'm not quite sure what to do with my points. Um, happiness seems like a good goal because I've got population to grow. So I'm going to spend a point on this to spend four rock because I've got such a quantity of rocks. And move a guy over here. That gives me another military and that gives me two more happiness. There's a limit to how much of this I want, but, you know, I think right now it makes sense. I'm going to produce another people. I've got Moses, so people only cost me two food to produce. Shpook. That cost me one of these. <clears throat> I'd like to move more stuff into something. Um... It might not be a bad idea to get my food production up at this point, given that those cards are kicking around and I can afford that. The problem with that, of course, is I really kind of want more technology. But I'm looking at my other options. It would cost me both my whites to buy anything else. So, um, I think I'm going to buy an irrigation, put it in my hand. Do I want to play that right away? I do not, because i got to use up some of my metal. So what I think I'm going to do next is I'm going to pay one, drop three of this, and since I have alchemy in my hand already, see, I don't like this because I should be paying six to boost that up uh, later. but I really do need light bulbs. So I'll take it for now. I've put another guy in here, so I boost my light bulb production. Now this time, happiness is good. I remember to take my three light bulbs and two harps. Then I create my farming goods. These I can turn up. I get my rocks, and I don't have to eat either of them. And I have two cards, so I keep producing. I didn't have an overage, did I? And, you know, there's not a lot I can do with these at this point in terms of pre-planning. I do like that better, especially for the solo play. I could see in opposed games wanting to have that extra little bit of thinking by playing them off during here so you can plan for things. Okay, let's go here. Well, and alchemy disappears. Just keep these cards in their right piles. You know, I'm going to pause. I need to switch batteries anyway. New leaders, unlike before, though, any leader you pick up now is replacing a leader you have. So you kind of want to make sure that they're improving. The new leaders are Columbus who allows you to colonize a territory in your hand without sacrificing units. So you don't have to play a territory um, into the random pile. It just eventually, it, 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 you just get it for its bonuses. That might be really valuable if I had a territory that I wanted. Joan of Arc, 
gives you uh, additional strength for temples and anytime that you're attacked you get a pile of culture off of it which probably would be really good if I wasn't way up on the military <laughs> okay so what do we want to do we have a whole lot of rocks and we have things technology wise to do with those rocks we unfortunately don't have a whole lot of tech if we had enough for the printing press we would start building those those are libraries rather than labs hmm. Uh, we meet the phalanx, that's why we have so much strength. We don't have anything we can play here. <coughs> Nor do we have to throw anything away. Uh, do we want to become a monarchy next turn, maybe? Mm, I don't know about that. I do know we're low on technology. I'm going to pick this up. I'm allowed to hold four of these cards total because I have four white discs. So I'm not out yet. I can't play that one. This probably doesn't help me as we get into the, the more and more expensive stuff. It becomes really kind of pointless for us. Okay, unfortunately we don't have enough food to produce more people. And we have all these rocks. <laughs> we wish there was a, a wonder, because rocks are great for building wonders. What we can do is drop a... We have a lot of military. That's part of the problem here. Is drop a... Uh, huh. We don't really need all this religion because we're producing happiness off our hanging gardens. So we're going to unemploy our religious person. I don't know what we're going to do with that. We're going to build, I guess, a philosopher out of them. Okay, so the religious person, we lost this, and we lost a status, unfortunately. But we gained a technology. Because that's where we're kind of falling behind. If we draw another card, we have to throw something. Patriotism probably doesn't mean all that much. We'd have to play this with a white card. It would give us an extra red and an extra buck for building military. That doesn't sound terribly useful. So it might be that we want a technology here. Um, it's very strange to not have something you want to do with a white pip. Uh, it's also very strange to have all these rocks. Okay. I guess I'll spend it um, and grab an irrigation. We may throw that up. Oh, I can't. I'm not even allowed to spend it um, to pick up another card because I've got a full hand. Uh, and I do not have the points to do anything with it. The only thing I could do is this buy cheaper military, and that's not going to work. So, yeah, we ended up in a kind of crappy position here. Okay, well, that's life. So, production. Uh, this is at three victory points. And two science. And that'll get us somewhere next time. Farms produce, don't really want them to. We eat a farm. Rocks produce. And we're only going to be getting one because of the corruption. Eats two of them. So far, nobody's got a second level of any of their cards deployed yet. And then I get two of these. 
red cards, and they're both going to be events. That pushes us over here. Monarchies become cheap. Da Vinci. Each lab produces an additional amount of science equal to its level. So this is the level A would be level zero. Hmm. Not terribly useful. Every time you play a technology, your civilization produces rocks. Rocks? Da Vinci's good at making rocks for some reason. Hmm. I'm not sure I agree with that. I think that should probably be culture, but that is very clearly a rock. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have too many cards. Oh, medieval army, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. So one option is enslave. Am I a big military power? I'm not. Um, so I probably can't fire this off at someone with any effect. Crusades, the strongest civilization gets a bunch of culture. The weakest loses a bunch of culture. This is dangerous for me to play. But it's a culture point. I am not going to play it. I'm going to throw both of these away. <sighs> Which, wow, <laughs> I have no army at all. Oh, I'm just asking for it, am I not? Okay, this is not a good situation to be in. I do need to get my army up somehow. What do I have in hand? Well, I have a lot of stuff. This I want to play at some point soon. Do I have rocks? I do have rocks. Do I have technology? I don't have any technology. So I can't really play either of these. Um... And I can't just keep taking tech cards. <laughs> well, I could. I could take a tech card to boost my technology and then I could build irrigation. Uh, but I already have code of laws. I'm not allowed to duplicate cards I already have. I could grab theology. That only costs me one. And would boost me. I think it's worthwhile. Use my bonus. Or I could take swordsman, which might be even better. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> we'll play this. We'll put irrigation here, and that costs me three technology. But I had one boosted that I forgot to take. Right. So that cost me all three. Now I can move people. For two rocks, I can boost a person up to here. And that's important because whatever he produces is now worth two instead of one food. So that's kind of cool. Um, we still only have two food, not enough to, to handle everything I've got. I want to play this for five points. And those are just permanent victory points. Nothing, nothing special. And that reduced my hand size, so now I can go into the well for more technology, I think. Well, in terms of technology, I want to spend my rocks to move someone up to philosophy. And that increases my tech production to two. I still have another action. Uh, I see no real reason not to grab this one, which gives me rocks. I don't particularly think I'm going to be getting monarchy, so uh, that'll put me to there. 
I have an extra person. I don't have the rocks to build, an, uh, to build my army back. So that will not be happening. So now we get our production. Uh, culture. Looks like... Looks like I don't produce any culture. And that is what that says. I do produce two science though. <laughs> we'll have to take another, sci another scientific advance to fund, well, no, not to fund theology. We can get that on the board. Okay, um, food production. I produce one there and one up here. And now I have to eat and I take it from here. These stay here. I can't fiddle these up and turn them into cheaper food. But eventually, you'll see that I'll be producing at a, at a better rate. Um, that, that I won't be having garbage down there as much. Here's three of these. And I don't have to eat any because I'm not corrupt. And now I get my two military cards. And you can see these are not doing me as much good as I would hope. And that puts me to the end of the row, uh, end of the line for this cycle. And I kind of need a rest after each cycle with a game like this. It's got three of these. They've got three red chips, so they can hold on to all of them. They have nothing they want to play here. Uh, presumably, they probably should try to switch to one of these others, but they have no cav available, so. All right, what do we have available? We have ability to play technology and then get money back, get it, uh, uh, value back. Eh, not as useful, but. All right, so what do we want to do? It's a good question. Um, I don't think we want to go for an expensive ruler at this point. I don't think. These generally don't tend to be terribly good, except maybe the victory point ones at high rates. What is our technology? Our technology is high. Code of laws could be useful. We have the theocracy already, so we don't want to switch to a monarchy at this point. Um, <clears throat> warfare could be useful. It gives us another red chip and it gets us some military strength. Things that give you chips are nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for the code of laws. So I'm gonna buy that, add it to my hand. Now it's only these action cards that I can't play right away. So I'm gonna play this, but I'm gonna play it using this place of technology and play for full price. Full price is six, I have that. And then I'm gonna get two back, one, two, three, four. The Code of Laws is in my hand, and I get um, a white chet that I can play immediately, which is bonus. Um, well, maybe I want Warfare, too. You know, I mean, why not? They're cheap. All right, let's pick that up. I'm not sure we want to put that into play right away. I'm not sure that's as important as some of the other options. For example, improving our agriculture. Because hmm. we have a lot of rocks, we would like to move things into play. Yeah, I think I need to move people up. So why am I getting so much technology? I have two, three, this seems to say I have four a turn. Am I cheating? Yeah, it would seem so. Huh. I don't know where I was getting additional technology from, but I should only be getting three a turn, not four. If I was cheating, that's life. I probably ought to look at all my other numbers. Uh, I should be getting one harp a turn. Hmm, I got three. Should be getting two harps a turn, three harps a turn. Okay. I should have a strength of one, two, three, four, five, 
6789. I seem to have a lot more uh, a lot less strength. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight should be my strength. I bet you I was giving myself a technology instead of a strength. Again, I'm not gonna worry too much about the things that I screw up on the tracks. Um, that's very likely in the solo play. So, we would like to get our technology back up to where it was. Um, right. Let's do that. Let's spend three rocks. to put a person in. You know, maybe we lost a person or something that we weren't uh, counting. We got one more action, a whole bunch of rocks, another person. How's our happiness? Our happiness... <sighs> See, our happiness is beginning to become a problem <laughs> and it might be worth taking some religion in exchange. All right. We'll move three more rocks. Move a person up to religion. That gets us another point of culture. Or maybe I moved the wrong person, you know. A point of culture and a point of happiness. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of military and nowhere to use it. And I don't really want to take any of these. So I will be taking three cards, I guess. Um, purple gets four tech. One, two, three, four. And they get, looks like four culture. One, two, three, four. And we have enough happiness. Our farms produce. We have to eat. Our rocks produce. We don't have to eat rocks. And we get three more military cards. All events. Okay. Whew. It's going to move us here. I'll pause. A really limited number of wonders out because the way they fell this time, uh, the level one wonders came as people were still mainly building the level two wonders. So all of those got kind of knocked out. Um, okay, so over with this guy, he has two cards that are useful. One is, whichever civilization has the most happy faces gets a benefit. I'm right up there in happy faces, uh, and I have the bread and circuses. I think I want to go for that. My other one has to do with happy faces, too, but this one looks like the best of the bunch for me. That gets me a point, triggers an event. Uncertain borders, the weakest civilization gives a yellow token. Okay, weakest is orange. Orange has to give a yellow token from its bank over to the green side. This is not good. He loses one of these and green gains a person. And that's a permanent person, you know, in the potential pool that's been moved there. So that's a really big deal, perhaps. Um, I don't have to discard. I'm on my turn. How much technology do I have? I have a fair amount. I have a lot of rocks. I think it might be worth my time, unless there's something I terribly want to do, to I have this efficient upgrade. See, that's nice because I can actually upgrade from alchemy for a cheaper cost at least once or likewise to irrigation so either of them is interesting all right I'm gonna spend an action and four of my tech one two three four to place alchemy here I'm gonna spend an action and three rocks move a person up in the sciences. 
and that should get me another science. How many signs am I producing? I'm producing three now. Hmm, that can't be right. Make it four. So this is not someone I stole a science from. Uh, I want to do that again. Getting science up seems like a valuable goal. Uh, that means I don't have enough points for the irrigation, which is one reason why I'm doing this. It's unlikely I'm going to build anything as these labs, so I'm just going to keep them there as a one-point alternative if I... Well, I don't know why I'd do that, actually. Okay. Um, but that's all the people I can have in the alchemy building. Uh, I have one more action. Is there a card I really want? Swordsman, the upgrade, hmm, might be worthwhile. But I think the efficient upgrade card is kind of nice for me. Alternatively, I might want to grab another population. It would only cost me two food. Better or worse than the efficient upgrade? The efficient upgrade is two stone. This is a person at this point. I want the person. Still got Moses, he still makes things cheap. I don't have stones, so I can't start creating better military. So we'll hold on to that. So we get our points because we remembered this time. And that's, uh, I guess, two harps. It's pale gray. And we get our science, which is up to five production. Yeah? Two, four, five. And that's dangerous. Somebody who's able to produce a lot of science is able <clears throat> to slap down cool cards more quickly and then get additional upgrades. Um, I got enough happiness. I take my food. I feed my people. I take my rocks. I don't feed them any rocks. Oh, I owe two food for my people. I only paid one because I've cleared this section. That's one of the reasons I cleared it is because I'm producing too much food. Now, theoretically, I could pull a guy off of that, but it's kind of nice to produce too much food because you start pumping these guys out and I don't know, you'll see. It works out well. You just don't want to overproduce in any commodity. And now I've got my two red cards coming. Here, and you can I can peek at them if I wish. They don't tell me anything too interesting. And then we did not buy any cards. That happens every so often where you know you just you have so much to do that you want to do that buying a card seems like a bad deal. Hmm. Am I the guy with iron? Yeah, I'm already holding iron, so I'm not gonna jump ahead and grab that. So here are mine. And I only have two red, which means I'm going to have to get rid of something. Border conflict, the weakest civilization, um, loses something to the strongest, essentially. That's good. This one is everybody gets bonus food. I don't know if that's terribly good, but I definitely want to pump this one in. Grab a victory point. Trigger an event. And it's going to be a wealthy territory. Okay, it's bid time for colonization. This is kind of cool because I have colonization cards here and my strength's very high. My strength says it's at 11. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, huh. 10, 11. It is indeed. <clears throat> um. I have to sacrifice one of these guys to make it. I think I want this. It gives me a pile of rocks and it gives me two more. I think those are blue things. Uh, huh. I'm just wondering if somebody grabbed something else that gives blue things. Um, this gives two more blue things which actually go here into your pool. 
So you'd have permanent more blue stuff, which means that it's harder for you to become corrupt. I like that. The pile of rocks may not be so hot. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm willing to bid on that. So I'm going to go with the 13 bit. Now, this guy can't hit 13. He has nothing to sacrifice that's going to hit him up there. Actually, because I have an extra one of these, I'm going to go to 14 just to make it even harder for someone. I have to sacrifice one of these. Uh, I can't colonize without giving up a soldier. Okay, so what's purple at? Well, purple's probably the closest person to this. I said three, six, seven. Where is he getting extra strength from? Three, six, seven, eight. That's all he has. Eight. He could go to nine, 10, 11. 12, and then I'm out. This card's only worth one. So I can't possibly overbid, so I can't get it. And then probably the same case for Gray here, who's not got a lot of strength. Three, uh, four, five. Does that correspond with what I've got written? I've got six written, I've got this, okay. Uh, so six, I could spend three there, that would bring me to nine, and I don't have any colonization cards. So this guy spent one of his soldiers and a colonization card to take another colony, and that's going to give him five rocks just before his turn. Sweet. And what was it? Two more blue pieces, I think. Yeah. Now, if he loses this colony, or this one, he loses the associated things, but he doesn't lose the five rocks he got for taking it immediately, or the three cards he got, but he would lose those two tokens, and they might go to someone else if someone else captures that colony from him, which can happen. Well, um, that was my play, and I'm down to two cards, which is all I can hold. One of the reasons I put the bid up was so that I would do that. And now I've got to decide what I want to do with my other cards. Well, I would like to get my iron up. I'm green. I don't have a lot of technology. I only have three tech. Um, I have this printing press. If I threw my three tech into the printing press, since I can only have two people per building, I'm only able to get two science per turn anyway. So I think this might be worthwhile, except I have this. I want the iron. I want the iron, the iron's more important to me. Um, I can get around to tech in a little while. So I'm gonna score two science immediately, and that's green. That puts me up to five. Now, I spend five science to upgrade this. And that's all my science. Now, uh, I have to move some people up there. People, it's going to cost me three to upgrade each person. So three rocks. Moves a person up to here. What did I do? I'm trying to remember what I, I played two. I have to play another one to move that person up. And now to move another person up, it's another three rocks. I'm trying to get rid of these rocks so I don't get too corrupt. And I move another person up here. Okay. Now I'm out of whites. What about reds? Let's keep them for draws. Um, so now I get my points for the turn, which it says here I should only be getting two signs. That kind of sucks. And <laughs> maybe I'll find some. And then I should be getting, uh, I guess, three harps 
One, two, three. And again, I've probably cheated. Okay. My farms produce two food. I eat one. My rocks. Okay, this is different. So I produce two of these two-point rocks and one one-point rock. But now I owe corruption of two. I'll take those off my one-point rocks. <laughs> and that's kind of cool. And remember, I just got a couple extra materials. So I'm actually less corrupt than I should be. Um, and then I take two of these red cards. And as we go up to this guy, I'm going to need to reshuffle the events deck has gotten themselves in this interesting position where they have no army, no military capabilities basically, and they really are getting beat up for it. Because the military cards come in no matter what. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm actually going to play this Raiders, which hurts the two weakest civilizations. Okay. Well, they're one of them. Why do they want to do this? Well, because a victory point seems worse than um, two food that they could throw away. So they're really not too concerned with what they're giving up in exchange for it. So we're still, you know, theoretically in the race. We're up with everybody else in points except for green, but um, we don't have much in the way of a military, uh, which is something we want to fix, right? Well, we also have the problem of too many of these cards. Now the question is, do we want to build a medieval army? If we build a medieval army, our strength gets a lot better real quick. Um, the knights are worth two. Is there a leader we really want? Uh, Joan of Arc. Temples would give us a bonus. We don't have any temples. Barbarossa allows you to build new military units very quickly and very cheaply. So he's kind of appealing. The problem, of course, is I kind of like my Aristotle. Um, why do I have so many chips? Oh, I have laws. That's why I have so many chips. So, I don't know. This is the first technology. This one adds one to your strength and another plus two for colonizing. Ooh. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna, well, first we have to discard something from here. I think we're going to discard one of the defense cards, actually. We're gonna pick up knights. That's two for the technology. We are orange, we don't have much tech. Uh, but that gives us one for Aristotle. Assuming I have room for an extra card. Okay. So that gives us a point of tech for Aristotle. That gets us up here. Uh, I don't have the points for some of these other things. Uh, I only have three technology. Theology isn't going to really help me too much here. Rocks aren't terribly useful. I don't have enough to build this yet. So I think I've got to hold off a little bit. I'm not going to buy that. Um, but I've got all my cards in play. Well... We should start building some military. I can't buy Barbarossa now. I could have bought him before I bought the knights and then played him. But then I wouldn't get the tech point that I wanted. So let's build some military. Two rocks. Turn this guy into an army. I get a one point increase in my military. I'm up to a two. Um, play that thing. <sighs> a 
I'll play a red chit to get my medieval army into place. That's not going to help me right away, but gets rid of some stuff. I think I want to produce some people. So it cost me three food to produce people, a one and a two. And I make a person. And now I could turn those people into something else. In particular, I can't use them over here, but I can turn them into bronze workers, which are always useful. And I still got two more of these cards and not a lot to do with them. This is, this is the problem. I can get rid of two stone or give myself two stone. And now, I only have one piece left, but I have room for a card now. Oh, do I want this? I'll buy an efficient upgrade. Because I know I'm going to want to upgrade to irrigation for my last one. All right. I have enough happiness. I have two science. No harps. How am I staying in this game at all? Uh, I produce my food. One on each layer. I produce my metal. Oh, I forgot to consume food. I only owe one food. Ah, uh, I have no red chips coming to me. And that's the end of the line for him. And we're done with another layer. Okay, so our theocrats over here uh, are only allowed to play one of these, remember. This is one they do not have the option to play. The phalanx and heavy cavalry, probably not too interesting. We'll probably discard them, I guess. Uh, although the phalanx is interesting. Without a cav in the deck, I don't think I want to get that. We've got a lot of cheap leaders up here. We've got the Great Wall of China, which gives happiness and culture. It also uh, increases strength, which isn't marked here for some reason, uh, for each infantry and artillery. And then we have Genghis Khan as a late leader. Uh, ignore the effects of your tactics card. Each of your cav units has an additional plus one strength and produces additional culture. So that would be intriguing if we had the cav. Um, so let's take a look at these. Inhabited territories. This will give us a population uh, moves into little orange suns. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean. Let's see if it's covered here. Yeah, I don't see it here. Um, so all I can guess is that means somebody gets born. I don't know though. Uh, I have fertile territory, then reign of terror which will hurt the weakest civilization. Well, we're probably not the weakest civilization, so this might be of more value to us than these others. So I think we're gonna play this. That gets us a victory point. And we'll see what it triggers, and then decide what to do next. So, I hope I put it in the right place. Two, three, four, five, six. Apparently not. Um, is this the one I just put away? No, it's not. This is, uh, I'm behind by one of these, and I'm really getting screwed up on these. I don't know what to do. 
and where I made the screw up, but I'm not going to fix it this time. I'm just going to not worry about it. It might throw some numbers off at the end, but I don't think so. So we have a new territory. Oh. Yeah. We have a new territory in play because now we have seven cards between these two, and that shouldn't have happened. The new territory gives a happiness, and it also is worth six victory points. This is very appealing. So we're going to want to open up on it. And what do we want to put for a bid? Well, we have lots of cards. That makes this kind of cool. So our base bid is eight. Three, six, seven, eight. We have to throw a guy in that makes nine. I'm going to open up with 10 because that's sort of the minimum decent bid that I'm willing to make. I'm willing to spend, uh, I have to spend one guy and I'm willing to spend a card for it too. So we're at 10 for that. I don't think Greg can match that. They're at six, seven, eight, nine. They do not have an additional point. So they're not going to be able uh, to do it. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know where my sixth is coming from that I've got marked here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what. Okay. So he's out of the bidding. Over here, green. Well, green has basically uh, 11 points to start with. 12, 13 for one of these two. I could go up to 14, but I don't think I want to. I think I'll go with that 13 bid. This looks like a valuable one. Orange isn't gonna be in the bidding. So I was at 10. I could go to 11, 12. That's as high as it goes. So he's gonna win yet another territory. 13, we're gonna kill an infantry, I guess. Uh, that gets us a point of happiness, and that gets us six more victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see how important the military really is. Okay, well, did I kill? Yeah, I killed the infantry. Okay, so I have other cards I have to choose here. I don't think the heavy cavalry is at all valuable to me. I'm allowed to hold three. I want to hold this one, and now it's a question, do I want a phalanx? I'll throw the phalanx away and hold three useful cards, because I may not be building the phalanx ever. All right, we have to worry about cards from era A. First of all, Alexander is going to die, so maybe it's time to think about a leader. <laughs> maybe, but maybe not. Um, how's my technology? I have a lot of technology, so I could improve this. This looks like a good buy, assuming I don't, you know, go for something like that. So I think I'm probably going to do that. So let's see what we're going to do. Let's get the technology. That's going to be four tech that I spend. One, two, three, four. It gets me Warfare, which gets me another point of strength, and it gets me another red disc. Pity I couldn't have this beforehand, you know, when I had too many things. Okay. Now, my next disc. Oh. Uh, my science production is decent. There really isn't much here except this iron, if I want to buy that for two. I think I do. I think I do. Is there a leader I want? Um, the Vinci's not terribly helpful. I don't think any of the leaders are all that helpful. By the time the two deck comes into play and I'll lose Alexander, who's not bad, uh, there'll be new leaders starting to show up. So I won't be long without a leader. 
So that's kind of my feeling there. It's hard for me to make that judgment, hey, I don't want a leader A, and, but that it's equally hard to say, yeah, it's willing to play a couple of pieces to get uh, this other leader. All right, so what about this technology? I think I'll play it. The problem is I have a lot of uh, cubes, uh, little disks there. But I'm going to play this technology for f uh, uh, five, which is the remainder of my tech. That puts this up on the bronze level. And now I can do an upgrade. And uh, cost me three stone to upgrade my stone production for one guy to get him up to metal. But I think the iron is really important, so I want to grab that. Okay, now I'm down to nothing but reds. Presumably, if I had kept the phalanx, I could have spent to replace my fighting band with it, but I don't have the requirements for a phalanx. So it didn't make a lot of sense. So, um, I don't think I really have anything terribly big I want to do with these military. I don't have any more white pieces, so we go to the production. It says I'm getting four tech. Uh, one, two, three, four, that makes sense. And I'm getting, looks like four culture. One, two, three. And I can't find a four. Okay. Four culture for purple. produce my food, I eat my food, I produce my discs, I eat my rocks, which kind of sucked, and we get a pile of cards, which is going to be four new cards. Well, we're going to have a big hand. One problem with having a lot of militaries, if you're not utilizing it for something you run through but you get a lot of choices with your cards and some of those are you know defenses or colonization or whatever so they can be useful and there goes columbus who could be very i should have taken columbus i'm the guy who wanted him i had a handful of colonization didn't i oops <laughs> well that was stupid but we're not rewinding anything if we can help it. More iron. Upgrades over here. Well, so we have a choice of rebellion. Each player loses two civil actions per discontented workers. We don't have any of those. Scientific breakthrough. Everybody gets uh, additional science rating. Now, I have a lot of science that I'd be getting. This is a good one for me. So I'm going to play this event, give myself a point that triggers an event. And this is going to be a developed territory, a bunch of science. Uh, I think this is white, but maybe it's yellow. Nah. Is that white or yellow? Jesus, I can't tell. Yeah, I, I can't see. I'm looking for something that has yellow or white on it. Uh, and I can't really tell. This has a white. Is it the same color as this or is it something different? It looks yellowier, but not by a lot. They really didn't do a good job with these colors as far as I'm concerned. So I think that'll be an extra population an extra resource. And now that's not a population, that's an, another piece for your, your population pool in blue. And his strength is nowhere near what it was. His strength is two, three, four. That's all I'm getting for him. So that's green. 
He's way down in strength. What did he lose? Uh, he lost five. That doesn't make sense. That's not enough. Yeah, I don't know where all his strength came from from before. Let's count it again. I hate games where counting's the whole game. Uh, so by my count, I have two. I would have had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't know where I got all those points from. 10, 11. I think what happened was I was counting an extra swordsman and, an, and the phalanx bonus, which shouldn't have all been there. So he shouldn't have been able to get what he got last time. I don't care. Uh, again, counting, pain in the ass hate doing it this game doesn't uh, this game relies too much on it so purple's gonna be weighing the lead on this one um, and we're just gonna live with mistakes as they happen okay so this guy has two three four five six that's where he's at he can make a bigger bid this is a nice territory. It has science. It has people. I don't have anything to add to my bid. If I go to seven, that's the biggest bid I can go on. What about this guy? Well, we say he now is worth four. <laughs> he could go to six. He can't take it with six. He can't take it with seven. He's out of the bid. Over here with orange, he's not going to have it. It's like two, three. Unless, of course, I've lost numbers. So that brings us over here. He's got a total of three, four, five, six. I've got him listed as nine. Let's try again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this guy was at like seven or something. Nine. I'll go to ten with him. Can we get to ten with him? Well, eleven really. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have a card, I can get up to eleven. I don't. So ten means he loses one of his dudes. That's going to only cost him one. And he takes this, which will get him a yellow, a blue, and three science. Extra counters that last for the rest of the game, you know, those are a good thing. And then the bonus of three science, you know, who knows what I'm going to be able to do with that. But that's pretty cool, too. Okay, I don't know whose turn that was. Uh, I think it was this guy's. Uh, he's still got an extra piece. Now, I don't want both of these. So, do I want the Legion or do I want Heavy Cav? Well, not really either. But I'm certainly not going to switch to the Legion, so I'll throw that out. It's possible that maybe Heavy Cav works for me. Joan of Arc. Temples give an additional strength. I do actually have a temple. Um, and anytime somebody aggresses on me, I get some score. Well, that's not terribly useful. My best lab produces an equal amount of science equal to its level. And whenever I play technology, I get an extra rock. That's kind of nice. Uh, Barbarossa allows me to build armies quickly. Cartography gives me a bonus, especially towards colonization. Again, interesting. We have irrigation, though. Do I have any technology? I have technology built up. So, I've got a pretty good little kingdom going right now here. Um... I like Da Vinci. Moses is kind of crappy. I'm going to grab Da Vinci.
while he's there in sheep. I am going to, and the other option would be the iron way down there, or the Great Wall. Wait a minute, the Great Wall for two. It would cost me three because I have a wonder. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. Do I want to increase population while it's still kind of cheap? Yes, I do. I'll play this. I move this here for three grain. Play Da Vinci. That gets rid of Holy Moses. And now he's going to create. Uh, Moses didn't give me anything, I don't think. He's going to create extra science equal to his best lab. Well, his best lab gives him two. So that pumps me up to like seven. One, two, three. I don't know why I'm at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why. Okay. Um, I only have one thing left. I'd like to get rid of some of my rocks. Uh, playing a card gets me more rocks. That's not terribly good. So... We could bread in the circuses, get more happiness. Our happiness is pretty good, but that would give us another military too. Alternatively though, we could throw somebody into religion. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna throw somebody into religion. That's three rocks. Put that there. That gets me one extra status. And, you know, now I don't remember if I scored him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just all this counting and cube fiddling that gets in my way. Anyway, uh, I also get a point of happiness. All right. Now, I still have some military... I don't want to play any of those. I don't need to upgrade anything. So I'll hold on to them. So now I get my production points. And I've got pale gray. It says I get three here. Is that right? I don't know. One, two. This is really, really annoying to do um, three. Uh, solo. And I thought it would be. There's enough room for making mistakes, not so long. Uh, what about the this? This says I have seven bluish things coming to me. Is that right? Probably. Two, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lots of technology. So I should be able to, you know, scoop up technologies pretty easily. I get my production. Couple of farmers, and then I eat them both. This is going to be a problem in terms of making more people. But we have agriculture, we'll move things up. Uh, probably more of a problem is our rocks, which we're not getting at very good rates. And then I get two of these cards. And that puts this marker over here. And I take a break because I gotta swap things. Wall wonders coming within range, you know, it would cost me three of my four white things to take it. Um, and we have St. Peter's Basilica here, which is pretty sweet too in terms of victory points. I like this better with its happiness, but this gives, this would bonus my other happiness. So actually it's a better result and it costs a little bit less. So that's actually pretty good. Um, for my cards, I have an event that I'd like to play and stuff I'd like to destroy. The event that I play, why? Eh, I don't know. You know, 
Um, producing more grain doesn't really help or hurt me or anyone else. Getting a victory point is nice though. Triggering an event, maybe not so nice. And I get a border conflict. The weakest civilization loses an urban building. Well, that's not me. Uh, farm or mine, the strongest civilization produces three stone. Well, assuming the numbers are correct, and since I just checked them not long ago, maybe they are, um, this is our weakest civilization. There's no bidding, nothing can be done about this. So he's going to lose either an urban building, a farm, or a mine. I'm going to lose this farm. I think that's my most useless thing. And the strongest, which is purple, gets himself three stones. And we're going to take that as a two and a one. Because we can. Uh, and this goes here. Okay. So, I still have too many things. I have to throw away a light calf because I have enough uh, cards now. So of course, assuming that I am indeed weaker than or or stronger than orange, you know, uh, <laughs> we're getting close to the bottom. I gotta make sure to play my A card if I'm gonna play it. This round, I have an extra military in action and an extra stone for building military units. Well, maybe I don't really want this, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's not that important to me. Because I've got this printing press, which I might like to build. And I've got some population that I might like to deal with. Okay. So the printing press, is there anything terribly interesting here? The cartography is nice. Um, but I feel like I need to get my military back up because I'm not far from being good at military, but you know, maybe I'd be better off buying a light cav and throwing this into place. Because I've got manpower problems here. Okay, so first things first, let's build a man. And that only costs us two food to put him into play. Um, let's play this to start building a military unit out of that man. And that costs us two metal because we're using a white chit to play it. And that's going to put patriotism into play. Oh. So I got to use it. And that put my guy over here at knights. So now I'm at two more strength points. Is that right? Two, four. Well, I seem to be over overrated again. Oh no, six for this strategic territory. Okay. Now I'm going to spend a red action. I used a white for that other to play Light Cav, and I'm going to replace my Phalanx with Light Cav. That gives me two more strength. I'm not super potent like I was with the Phalanxes, but I'm also not devoting so much of my population to the military. Now, I don't have a lot of technology. So, oh, I actually... Uh, had fallen behind. I'll, I'm okay right now, but uh, two of my military would have been... Actually, I get another stone back because he gives me a free build each time. Okay. Uh, I would like to do the printing press, but I can't. So, I don't know if there's anything I want to buy here. Build a new mine or farm for cheap or my civilization produces less, or produces stuff. Build a new urban building. That would be my printing press. Uh, well, see these, this produces a couple more stones for me. I don't have to use them for anything specific, but these guys, 
I get to do something along with it. So, given the situation, I think I'm going to buy this for one. And then, I got a lot of stones here, nothing I can do with them all. So, I'm going to buy myself another people. Push it out here. All right, what about my points? Uh, social points should be one, two, three. Is that right? Is that a lie? I got to mark it two. Oh, no, that's science. I got to mark it three. Science, I have two. Sounds good to me. Okay, so I get two science, which I need, and three victory points. One, two, three. Huh. Seems quite far along. Okay. Now, I get to produce farm goods. And I get to produce rocks. Oh, I forgot to feed my people. So I don't have a consumption problem. I don't have a corruption problem. And I got one of these. So I get one card. Hey, we're almost done. I wonder what happens if that runs out. And that'll put us over here. Uh, still got an extra card. I got rid of that A card, but I didn't really need to. Okay, over on him. All I got is this. I'm not going to get anything get no military action really uh, uh, no political action right okay so what do I want <laughs> what do I have in my hand I have a whole bunch of technologies and Aristotle who's about ready to go away says play technologies will give you well no it's pick technologies up mm. well I don't have much room um, so, what's my military? Nothing. These knights, I don't know. I'd like to produce them, but what the heck. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I gotta think a little bit. Forgot I had this medieval army here. Yeah, we want to make knights. Okay. So, we play this, and we play four technology. And that gets knights out. Okay, now we got to make sure we build a knight. Well, we don't have many people. Okay, how do we get people? It costs us three bucks to produce a new people. We have three, or three food. We have three food. So we'll do that. And it's, one of the things that I like about this is it's generally easy to do what you want or see what you want to do. The problem is these damn tracks, which if everybody's keeping track of their own aren't that bad. Um... Now I want to make a soldier. Okay, I have nothing that helps me with soldiers. So... I have to pay a red. Soldier costs me three stones. So I'll drop three stones to turn him into a soldier. Now, I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six military. Does that make sense? I guess. And that makes me not quite so lousy as I was. Uh, next, I'd like to take a card, a technology, because um, I've got Aristotle. Cartography looks like a pretty good technology. Warfare may be better, but I'll take cartography. That gets me a point of knowledge. I can build theology. I don't know what that really helps me. But I am running kind of low on happiness here. Maybe it's a good idea. So for two tech, I get that out. 
That means I could take another tech card. <laughs> um, I can't take the Great Wall. That would take me three. So I'm going to just take another tech card for one, two. I'm going to grab iron because I want iron. And that gives me one more point of tech. I've used everything up except for one of my military cards. And I actually didn't have to burn through cards the way I did because I've got an extra piece from the Code of Law and an extra piece from the Pyramids. Okay. So I was kind of worried about that four card hand limit, but that's not in place for him. Uh, so now we go to points. Points for orange. It looks like I have two science. I don't see any reason to dispute that. And it looks like I still have no... <laughs> No harps. Wow. That, I'm going to have trouble moving forward with no harps. Uh, and I only have one red, so I get one of these. I don't know what happens here in this case. I think this is very unlikely for people to be so military that they run through the deck. Um, actually, I do know what happens because this, at the beginning of the turn, is going to go up here. And we're going to end up with the level 2 military deck. But instead of doing that, I'm going to load this one up because it's gone long enough. And we'll keep going. <laughs> 